let's make it more friendly, shall we? <laughs> With a look at the, the princess parties. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, um, people all around North America do this job. Mm -hmm. um, in 2009, our subject decided to change her singing career. She has been a pro since she was a child, but she thought, you know what? I got an idea for a business, and I can continue singing. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a singer named Alyssa. She was good enough to have sang for Muhammad Ali, good enough to have her own albums, good enough to have her own country hit. Hey, hey, rich man, full of arrogance and pride. But instead of trying to become the queen of country, she became a princess. True as it can be. Actually more than one. A long time ago, I was actually driving along in the car and I was singing to the Little Mermaid soundtrack. And the person sitting next to me said, holy smokes, you really sound like her. And about 10 years after that, I decided, hey, you know what? This would be a great business. Ever as before. Ever just but not an easy one. In her previous career, she did sing in front of drunks at bars. I've had my share of ashtrays and beer bottles, you know, chucked in my direction. <laughs> but while this new audience is only hyped up on cupcakes, they are connoisseurs. Kids are very sharp. They know exactly what the characters are supposed to look like and sound like and sing like. And they have a lot of questions that you need to either have answers for or be really good at making stuff up really fast. Yes, the small people audience believes no detail is too small to overlook. Who is the toughest of the princesses to do? Probably Snow White, I would say, because, um, you know, if you're going to sing, let it go, let it go, you know, it's a very full, rich voice, whereas uh, Snow White's voice is very high, so, with a smile and a song. So for those who wish to live the fairy tale life, it takes a bit more than a glass slipper and some nice costumes to make it. The children can see everything, so I literally have to walk into that party going, I am Cinderella, I claim that, because if you go in just pretending, uh, kids see right through that and they're like, uh, I don't know. We are all living happily ever after. The end. Wow, what a wonder... Kids uh, are so smart, they know. They, they know. sure do. You learn the finer points of being a princess. Apparently you're supposed to hold, princesses hold their hands like this. Like? Like this. Uh, yes, yes. Like, am I doing it right? Yeah, just, yeah, like that. I feel like I'm... And it's, yeah, I know, and, and apparently the reason is it, it, it gives you something to do with your hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent point. <laughs> it's like... Hi, kids. I'm a princess. <laughs> it, it is good. Because they don't have pockets. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's true, actually. <laughs> it's good when you see somebody who has who has found their calling. It seems like she yeah. really is doing what she. She's is. invested in all of those princesses. Yeah. Did you not get goosebumps a little bit when she was singing? What just now? Yeah, I did. Well, she's frozen. Very, she have sounds like a end? princess. Yeah. yeah, she does. She sounds like a princess. Yeah. Thank you. Hope you found your prince or princess. <laughs> have a good night.